Let code question number 974. Subway sounds divisible by k. This is the medium question. Let's get into it. Given an array A of integer return the number of contiguous non empty subarrays that have a sum divisible by k. Okay, let's check with example 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is example 1 and 5. We're gonna make 5. 5 plus 3 be we able to make 5, right? And then 0 also divisible by 5 is 0, right? Then we also make minus 2 and 3. And then we also make 5 plus 0 and then 5 plus 0 and minus 2 minus that is 0 right and then we also have to make 4 and then which number we also have to make uh -huh. du, 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 du. 1 2 3 4 5 6 ah we need to find one more minus, minus 2 3 minus 2 3 ah yes that's right so we also make this zero right so one two three four five six seven seven does this make sense okay how are we gonna do uh okay let's make proper solution is the, uh, as you guess we're gonna use look in loop so mm -hmm. I make I will use I and J so I gonna increase J and then in this time this is sum is the divide by five so increase output increase by initial zero include zero and then increase one and then I gonna loop over again finish it, move so to the here. So I'm gonna check <coughs> all of the item sub subarray. So in this time time complexity is n square and this this complexity is constant because we do not use any data structure. Okay and then let's make approach to is mm, so am I gonna use Prefix plus and map or array. Okay, with this type, I gonna. Okay, let me use this one. Mm -hmm, I will use prefix style zero and then I need a foot to return. And then also, I need the array so. Count name is count and then first item is one and then zero two three four five that is the same length of k so this one is I'm gonna make one plus zero plus five k and then that's right <laughs> I'm gonna use m percent so I'm gonna iterate one four and then I make the prefix this is 4 is this one is 4 right so I deduct I do m percent to k so that is 4 so index is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so I check 4 colon 3 4 is 0 so 0 plus 0 and then 0 and then I gonna move on the reason why I'm doing like this uh, to uh, to calculate uh, the output uh, with uh, linear time, that means uh, now we're gonna use prefix sum, right? So at this time, the five is the prefix is nine. So this mean is five minus divide k is four. 
So first of all, I will update it one, and then I just check prefix count is same as current list number of subway. Does it make sense? Okay. So in this case, this is nine. Nine already has nine divided k is four. So I check this four index four. It has one. So I gonna in add. Uh, one to output and then I'm gonna increase it for next iteration so okay let's keep going and then now zero zero is four minus k is four now we have two and then this one gonna be three and then I'm gonna increase three and then let's keep going and then minus two and this one is seven and the seven minus k is two so I will two currently is zero. Do not change and then I will update two is one. And then three is now this that is uh, three is four, right? Mm -hmm. Four and then four divide k is over it already six and then I gonna increase that is six and then this one four. And then finally, this is 5. 5 that k is 1. Yes, that's right. That is the reason why I initial this one. So, 0 means is first we rest the 5, started 5. At that time, we need to add to counter. Does this make sense? That is the reason. So, now this is 7. Is exactly the same as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Does this make sense? At this time, what is time complexity? Time complexity is the linear. How about space? Space is m. No, that is k. Because it depends on the length of k. Okay, let's implement the code. So, first we need to count is 1 plus 0 that's by k and then we need prefix 0 output is 0 ok let's iteration and in a and then let's prefix m and then next output increase uh -huh, and prefix divide and then also increase count and prefix k plus one and then finally I write it out okay <laughs> okay looks good cool thank you